Hello there lads and lassies, welcome back to Gibbous. And uh, today we're going to try and figure out how the hell we're going to get that guy a refreshing drink. Uh, I think I know what I'm doing. I think we need to go and talk to the guy. Uh, well, actually, let's have a look around. What have we got here? We've got a coffee pitcher. So let's... Uh, actually, let's give him a coffee. Coffee might be a good idea. Nothing to pour it in. Well, dang it. There must be something else we could do somewhere. There's something over this way. Let's go and have a look over this way. Alright. Oh, cool. There's an old drunkard over here. Let's go and have a chat with him. Hi there, Gramps. What's your... Get, get lost, youngun. My name's Buzz. Nice to meet you. Get on out of here. Fish... Fish myth ain't no place for you, boy. Well, at least you fish muthians are consistent about that. You should not be drinking that, old timer. Who, who, who are you to tell old Zadok what to do, sonny? Go, get me. You think I'm crazy, don't you? No, I really don't. I hate to come across as judgmental, but do you really want to spend your twilight years in an alcohol-induced stupor? It is not a choice, sonny boy. If you'd have seen what these old eyes have seen, I tell you. Tell me. Uh, nah. Right a drink, boy. Whiskey makes one forget. Okay. Really need that drink, huh? <sighs> I... I'm willing to do you a world of good and take that cursed whiskey off of your hands. Have you considered a healthier alternative? What you babbling about there, boy? Well, but coffee, yeah. How about coffee? I never touched the stuff. Never even smelled it. You've never smelled coffee? Not in my life, boy. My mama, rest us all, she tried to get my peppy to drink it. Left the old hooch. But my peppy wasn't having any of it. Did see little is the devil's drink. Then he dunk another whiskey. <laughs> Lord rest us. That's a story to remember, Gramps. So you never tasted or smelled coffee in your life? Not in my life, son. Couldn't tell it apart from gasoline. It's a... Um, it's a question of pinsome. Uh, prin... <coughs> principle. Alright, so we're gonna go get some coffee. So, let's go and get a mug. Let's go talk to Watersworth again. But that going away gift. Yes, I'd like a coffee mug, thank I'll you. I'll have the coffee mug. An uh, interesting choice, sir. Thank you. Alright. We've got a coffee mug. Okay, we're gonna use the mug on the coffee pitcher. Yay, we got a mug of coffee. Woohoo! Right, let's head back out. So let's grab the coffee and hand it over to him. Mr. Zadok, I brought you something. What is it, boy? Coffee. What? Get the gosh darned abomination out of my face! Okay. Uh, this gives me an idea. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So go around. Run. run boy. Let's take this bottle. Okay. That's good. You see? Perfect. It's working out really nicely for me. Right, I've got a yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put the milk in it. It's a bottle of delicious milk and coffee. Mm. Cool. Let's see. I wonder if I give him this, he probably won't take it. Let's try. 
Because it's never that easy. Mr. Zadok brought you something to drink. Why, oh, there's just one of my old bottles. You don't enter here with that young one. Oh, this guy knows his bottles. You see, I, I thought that. Alright, I've got to run. Got okay. Run. So let's have a very good think about this. Never return. So we're back in the office, and I just noticed there's a liquor bottle here, so I'm gonna peel the no, label. I won't just swipe the man's liquor from under his nose, but I doubt he'll be missing that label on the bottle, right? Yeah, I would think not. Okay, so we got exotic liquor. So now, if we put the label on the bottle, and we got a bottle of exotic liquor, aha! And now we can go back and do our thing. Okay. Should be easy enough. Right, back we go. And uh, here we are. Yaha! Mr. Zadok, got you a little something. What is it? It's a special kind of liquor. Very exotic import. Liquor? It says so on the label. Now, don't expect it to taste like regular hooch. It's very exotic. <gasps> it's supposed to have a real kick to it. That's gonna be fun. Wonder what's gonna happen. L let me see that. <sighs> smells like nothing I ever smelled before. And I can't say it's bad either. Ooh. Ooh, what is this devilry, boy? Kinda got me feeling all fluttery inside. Fluttery? Supposed to really get you going. Yay! Say, why, I feel refreshed as ever. It's like, it's like this curtain slowly lifting off of me eyes and mind, son. Oh, you done all Zadok a mighty good one. Can you get me more of this stuff? I'll let you know what it is and where to get it. But I'd like that bottle of whiskey in return if that's alright with you. Ah, take it. Who needs that stuff? I can safely say this has been a full-fledged epiphany, Puzz. Okay, well that worked out well. Hey, you remembered my name. Thanks. Not a problem, son. Boy, do I feel good. I just might get up and walk around a little later. Good to hear, Mr. Zadok. Yay. You refreshed. Care to tell me a bit about Fishmouth? What is it you want to know, Buzz? Well, a lot of stuff. Why is everyone so secretive here in Fishmouth? Where do I begin, my friend? See, you're stuck of a curse that wants to most of Fishmouth's residents' blood, turn them into fish and toad-like things. And then they dig to the water. But that's not even the worst thing. You'd think that's the worst thing, wouldn't you? Oh, there's worse. And I've seen it with my own two eyes, hanging around the abandoned factory up Elliot Street. Seen them. Hideous fishmen and octopus like monsters. Caught a glimpse of them in the moonlight. Heard their awful noises. Horrible. It were horrible. The curse. Nah, Buzz. It weren't the curse. These things were not born this way. They was mutants. Abominations. Cobbled together from fish and man and squid. The butcher. That's who they whisper made those things. Who's the butcher? I don't know that, Buzz. But I suppose it's some shady character that's in cahoots with the esoteric order of Dagon. And they're raising hell in a fishmouth. Raising hell. Literally. How can I get to this abandoned factory? You can't now. They've shut off those streets. In preparation for their evil festival. <sighs> Okay, let's talk about Bob Olmstein. Heard of a man called Bob Olmstein? Can't say I ever did. He's supposed to be staying at the Finman. The Finman, huh? Uh, folks lodging there have a habit of disappearing without a trace. Sneaky fella, that Finman. Slippery as an eel. Hmm. What's this esoteric order I keep hearing about? The esoteric order of Dagon. Fishman folks worshipping the deep ones. Dagon's their high priest. Supposed to be this huge amphibian thing. That's what the festival's about. Worshipping Dagon in sacrifices they bring to him. Sacrifices? What kind of sacrifices? I shudder to think, my boy. But what I can tell you is that, and if you ask me, it can only be the half-goofer. Half-go-what? The half-goofer. 
Huge, ugly sea monster! And yeah, I reckon that sucker's gotta be big, since they ain't letting anyone anywhere near Kraken Bay for a year now. Completely cut it off. No way to enter it from anywhere. <laughs> okay, well, let's make the confession. I've got a confession to make. What's that, Buzz? The whiskey I gave you that you love so much. That's actually coffee. Whoa, 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 what? Well, I'll be darned. You sure I pulled a fast one on old Zadok, haven't you? Well, good on you, Buzz. But you know what? Good on me too. Because I guess you can teach an old dog new tricks. I guess I love coffee and I gotta live with myself now. I just might be hooked on it. Well, better than whiskey. You're right, Buzz. And when you're right, you're right. Right? Right. Okay. I'll see you later, Mr. Zadok. God so... You, Take care. Time to move on. Oh, nice guy auto restored. That's awesome. Chat, 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 chat. There we go. Mr. Fenman, got you a little something to wash down the cookie with. Let me smell that. Oh, you did good, stranger. You was mighty kind. Mighty kind, I tell you. Glarp, glarp indeed. Ah, that hit the spot. Yeah. And here's your cookie. You ain't tampered with this here fine piece of pastry now, has ya? Oh, God forbid, no. Down the hatch! <laughs> Good. Thanks, stranger. What? What you standing there all expectantly like that for? Oh, nothing. What? You expect me to kill over or something? <laughs> Boy, I got a stomach line with steel myself. I... Ooh, I thought that was a dummy. What the heck? I don't know what you put in that cookie, but it wasn't working. I have no idea either. My roommate... Wait a minute. Care to explain what's going on here? Not until you explain what your business with Mr. Olmstein is. Um... Okay, I'll come clean. Okay, I'll come clean. I accidentally got involved in a mess that I can't make heads or tails of. That's why I'm here looking for him. I see. Well, there are two possible situations. Either your heart is full of darkness and deceit, in which case I suggest you turn around and run. Or your intentions are pure and your heart innocent, in which case we can talk. Uh -huh. My heart is not full of darkness. Boy, it sounds weird saying that out loud. I've been sent here by the voodoo gentleman. I understand Mr. Olmstein might play an important role in this occult situation I stumble into. Role? No, he plays no role. But what is yours? What part was assigned to you? Part? I'm just a librarian, sir. And this, this detective guy came looking for the, the Necronomicon. Kitai. Exactly. And then they kidnapped him. Kidnapped? Who kidnapped him? Search me. Anyway, I've been walking around with this Necronomicon thing on me. You have it? The real one? It's gotta be real. May my cat start talking. Sup? Hello. Yes, that explains that. Well, that's us. What's Olmstein to you? You speak his name so lightly, I... Let's just say I watch him from a distance. Try and look out for danger, pointless as though that might be. Pointless? Why? I just might be a fly buzzing around a lion. Never mind. I don't normally get close to him, but if you do have the real Necronomicon... Here it is. Uh, an exception will be made. Okay, so... We'll walk up to his room, and we'll see from there. Yeah. What else was I expecting? He's gone. Again. It might mean they're coming. We must stay vigilant. They? Who's they? Oh, too many possibilities in that regard. Oh my god, all this for nothing. It just keeps getting worse. You might as well at least tell me your name. Mine is Buzz Kerwin, and this is Kitty. You may call me Barnabas. I am... Uh, I am a protector of the other, a seeker of truth, and a hunter of evils. Must look nice on your business card. 
Okay, first of all, how do you know Dawn? I was the one who hired him to find the Holy Tome. It should never fall into the hands of madmen. Hmm. <sighs> madmen? What madmen? The Parish of the Starry Knowledge, the Esoteric Order of Dagon, or the... the Butcher. I've heard of the Esoteric Order. What's up with them? Have you now? So you also know of what they're raising here in Fishmoth. The half goofa? The half goofa? Those idiots. Those complete and utter morons. They have no idea what that can bring about. Well, neither do I, but are you gonna do something about the half goofa? They've cut off access to Kraken Bay completely. But I'll think of something. I must. The butcher? Tell me about the butcher. Yeah. This is not the place nor the time for that. But what I will say is this. He must not have the Necronomicon. You must keep it away from him, at all cost. Sounds like someone I'd stay away from regardless. Do not underestimate his reach, and watch your step here in Fishmouth. Him and the Esoteric Order are likely in cahoots, and they're everywhere. Okay, so what does he want with the Necronomicon? To bring this world to its knees. Okay, that makes sense, sure. Okay. Starry Parish? Foul worshippers of a thing called the Haunter, and the shining trapezohedron it dwells in. Ugh, geometry. Anyway... Alright, about Olmstein. About Olmstein. If you're protecting Olmstein, how come you didn't knock Finman out earlier? That guy was definitely up to some gruesome stuff. Maybe Olmstein would have still been around. I was about to take him out. I had reserved all the remaining rooms just to make sure no one would intervene. Then you came along, and I had to be cautious. Maybe I still should be. You do walk around with spiked pastry on your person. Not spiked enough. But I'm kinda glad to be rid of it. Anyway... What did you mean by the other? Olmstein? What makes him other? Who is he, anyway? Though you carry the book, you must understand my reluctance toward telling you these things. Still, see here. Though he walks among us, he is not like us. Oh, jeez, with the cryptic talk again. Can you describe Olmstein for me? Ha! Huh, that would be futile. He might appear different to you than he does to me. Or you might see him clearly and not be able to remember it an hour later. His nature is hard to grasp for all of us. But the voodoo gentleman described him as just, you know, some friend of his. Was he trying to deceive me, or...? There's no time to go into this, but that should not surprise you. Olmstein appears in different ways to different people. It is his nature. Wonderful. <laughs> Changing yeah. subject. Yeah. Why hire Don? Is he an occult detective? No, but he is a damn good seeker. Well, maybe was. Oh man, don't say that. I'm sure he'll find a way to pull through. So, he does this a lot? Disappear at the worst possible moment? It is in his ever-changing nature, yes. But there is always, always a little breadcrumb left behind. Ooh, uh, breadcrumbs. Might as well look for it, right? Yes, I will... I will trust you to do that. I'll keep an eye on the stairs in the meantime. Get to it. <sighs> so, it looks like we're hunting for stuff. It's feathers? Alright. They're interesting, but not pick up and carry around interesting. Crow's feathers strewn all over the place. Is this guy some kind of bird enthusiast? The word you're looking for is ornithophile. I thought you couldn't read. Oh! Yeah, uh, sure. Mm-hmm. So we got a note here as well. It's a picture. Alright. That's kind of cool. It's a domestic area. What else have we got here?
Just a mug and a pitcher of coffee. Nothing to shine any kind of light on this Olmstein character. Hmm. Let's have a chat with him again. I found this drawing. Can you make any sense of it? Olmstein's sign. Why would he leave it here again? What is it? What does it mean? I've seen it before, yes. I know not what it means, but it must have been left here for you. Me? But how could he know I was coming? And why me again? Why me? It is the role you play in this, and questioning it is a waste of time. Hmm. The Necronomicon. You seem to know more about it than I do. What is it? Ah, many things. We might call it holy, and we might be mistaken. Holy, as in not of this world. Uh, debatable, but do go on. It changes things. Sherlock Holmes over here. It chooses roles. It alters the very nature of things. But it does it when it wants, or when the stars are right. And if it makes its way into the wrong hands, it ends existence itself. Well, that's encouraging. But... Mine are not the wrong hands, right? Right? They're not the most competent. That much is clear. No, they are not. I think. Why does it keep changing? The Necronomicon is chaos in written, volatile form. Okay. What do its pages hold? What language is it written in? And what does it all mean? I've never read it, nor do I want to. All I have to go on are rumors and whispers but both hold more and more power in this world. As for the meaning of the words, some of them are most probably incantations, or instructions of some kind. Instructions? Yes, and stories. Mm -hmm. Stories? What stories? It does not matter now. You must focus on your next move. Would it be safer in your hands? You do seem to know a lot more about it. No! No. Maybe I fear it more than you do, but that is not why I refuse it. It is not for me to bear it. Yeah, I guess I need it to turn Kitty back. Yes, yes, you, uh, you need to do that. Help me understand more about Olmstein. I need to talk in this episode. Back. That is your stake in all of this? Hey, that has a name, buddy. Sort of. How did you come to know of Bob Olmstein? That is a story for another time. Uh. Why is his name Bob Olmstein? I mean, you call him Mother and all that, but his name is so common. There must be a reason for that, but does it really matter? Not to me. Okay. What's Olmstein's game? Is it good? Is he evil? These are questions that I cannot outright answer with a yes or no. All I have is my belief and some suppositions. And the former is much more powerful than the latter. If they do exist, maybe the answers are not meant for the likes of us. What we must do is play our roles. What belief? I believe I must try and stay by his side. And right now I am failing at that. Okay. What was Olmstein up to here in Fishmouth? Perhaps checking on some seeds he had planted. Oh man, I just know you're speaking figuratively and it's just that cryptic stuff again that drives me mad. No offense, but why can't you just talk like normal people? I'm not normal people. Yeah, that's course. kind of obvious. But is there anything helpful you can tell me about Olmstein? <sighs> I can tell you some things, I guess. He might seem ever-changing, yes, but... Balance and rules, these too are in his nature self-imposed balance and rules. Uh, I'm sure you can be more specific than that. What rules? Do you ever watch the moon, Buzz Koan? Uh, no, not really. No, not really. There is something about it. It's phases. They seem to correlate to important events and to how he affects this world. But in which way exactly? You'll need to find out on your own. <sighs> Right, finally? What role? Finding the book was an accident. It was just bad luck. That is how the tome works. The roles are defined, but the book is pure chaos. You said the book is pure chaos, but Olmstein is about rules and balance? How does that work? You make a good point. 
For a while now, I've been suspecting there must exist a counterpoint to the chaotic tome. If there is such a thing, it should be sought out before it's too late. Great, but I have no leads, no nothing. Can you help out in any way? Yes, please do. Considering it. Let me think about it. Oh, come on. What was that? I think they're coming. The stairs. Damn it. Quick, out the window. Are you serious? It's really up high. Have faith. You can make it. I'll hold them back. But I don't know what to do or where to go or... There's no time. Go. Go. Time to go. Wee. Wee. Find peace. Find peace. Find pieces of what? I don't know. Oh. Hey there, Buzz. Fancy running into you. Mr. Katype. Please, uh, call me Don. Welcoming town fisherman, ain't it? Yeah, lovely. Boy, am I glad to see you. You okay, Don? Well, I have no shoes and I don't know where I'm running, but aside from that, I'm all right. You uh, headed my way. Got a thing or two to uh, catch up on. Let's talk about it in Darkham. Taxi! Well then, that was interesting. Huh. A lot of exposition today, though. All right, we uh, should be safe in here. I uh, hope. Better keep the lights down. Mm -hmm. You don't happen to have any cat food lying around, do you? Huh. I keep forgetting it can speak. It? Rude. Look, I let you two rest all the drive here from Fishmouth. But now it's time for us to buck up, get our coconuts situated, and work out where we're at. Right. So, what happened to you? I cracked lid in the underbunk of some lunatic cult. These guys were also after the Necronomicon, but apparently you gave them the slip. Not the sharpest crayons in the box. The Starry Knowledge Cult. Yeah, how'd you know? Anyway, they kneel and keel to some kind of rock what came from the stars. Supposed to croak you or give you some kind of vision beyond time if you lay your mitts on it. So, did you? Now I glow in the dark. The Haunter's Mark, they call it. Ain't something I'd believe if I read it in the pulps, but now it's on me, I can't deny it. Things have definitely gone 15 shades of bizarro. <laughs> and there's a talking cat. Again, I'm right here. Rude. Whoa, did you try using your power? I didn't get the chance. I snuck out and crept around those smelly streets until I saw you legging it. That's about it. What you got? Well, I read from the book and now Kitty talks. Well, there's that. Then I visited a voodoo dude who told me to look for this Bob Olmstein guy in Fishmouth. Long story short, Olmstein had already left, but I did meet your employer. Fella by the name of Barnabas. Pretty big guy, white dreadlocks and beard, maybe in his 50s. Huh, I'll have to look him up in my files. Yeah, well, Barnabas is convinced Olmstein is of almost, uh, divine nature. And there's also another cult called the Esoteric Order of Dagon, and they're about to have their creepy festival in Fishmouth soon. Oh, and there's a guy called the Butcher. Oh, just saying it all out loud makes my head spin. I know about those esoteric weirdos. Not the first time they completely shut off Fishmouth to do God knows what. Butcher. Those starry kooks mentioned them. All Barnabas told me was to keep the Necronomicon away from the Butcher at all cost. And you know it's weird. Barnabas hired you to find the book, but he wouldn't take it when I offered it. Strange. Well, he did pay up front, so, uh... He's all right as far as I'm concerned. So, what do we do now? You, uh, wanna help? Kid, strange and mysterious are why I work this beat. Now that I've lost my shoes and my hand is all magic-like, this old bloodhound ain't going back to the kennel until he's got some answers. Boy, am I glad to hear that. All right, well, there's two things. One, apparently there must be some item that counterbalances the Necronomicon's chaos, so we should probably look for that. And two, Barnabas told me to find peace. I kind of want to research that online. You do have internet, right? Uh, yeah. There should be some in that laptop thing. Oh, brother. You look into that. I want to see what this Haunter's Mark is all about. So there we are. 
Right, well, for the moment we are going to stop this just now, but we will return with more Gibbous a Cthulhu adventure um, very soon. Uh, please do let me know what you're thinking of it. And uh, yeah, this was very dialogue heavy today, so a lot of you will be thinking, huh? but uh, yeah, I find it quite interesting. Let's find out what's going on with Bob Oldstein and the esoteric order. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time, but until then, bye bye.